Okay, we just got back from church and I am with Abby. This video has been highly requested, let's just say that. Um, and this is a pet update. As you know, both Abby and I now are the only pet owners in this family. We have a hedgehog and a snake. Abby has a snake and what's the name? Bagels. And what's the gender? We don't know for sure. So we just call it a girl. You say it's a girl. <laughs> I think it's a girl. And I have a hedgehog and his name is Prickles. And it is a boy, for sure. I know that. So before we get the pets out, we're gonna show you the pets. Um, we'll give you a little bit of background and kind of show you how we take care of them. In our closet, it's kind of a weird place to keep it. This is mostly Prickles stuff. So he has his shampoo. I have a bag of his old little baby quills because at the time I thought it was really cute. Now I think it's just kind of gross, but. I don't know if you can, can you see these? Oh, this. All right, cause every little baby hedgehog goes through like a quilling stage. It's not gonna focus, there's baby quills. A toothbrush, a water bottle that we use. Do you use it to fill up bagels water? Uh, I use it once, which got rid of all the water, so. Okay, um, and leather gloves that I never use. This is Abby's, what do you use this for? The, um, the mice because I can't hold them with my fingers because they're dead so yeah so Prickles eats cat food he loves it by the way and I've tried he likes grapes and peas. peas but what does bagels eat mice and we tried live mice didn't work so now we do frozen mice. Um, we don't film it anymore because the first time we filmed it, as you can imagine, not a lot of people liked it. So we don't really show that anymore. We're not gonna show that today, even though we're feeding bagels today. Didn't I come up with bagels name? Yeah. I don't know, I was like, hey, there's rings around it, like a bagel, let's call it bagels. Prickles was also my idea, right? <laughs> I, I don't know, it's kind of a did obvious name. Did you name. want to name it Pickle? Pickle? Oh, no, I wanted to name it like Banana or something because my two girlfriends had hedgehogs and their names were Kiwi and Peaches. And I was like, hey, Banana, <laughs> that'd be cool. But no, its name is Prickles. This is Bagels. Abby, give us a little tour. Well, she has a heat pad on her rock. She only goes under there at night because this thing heats up a uh -huh. lot. <laughs> I also have the heat lamp. I also have this white thing that helps her with her skin. What? I don't know. Uh -huh. It's just a white light. I keep them both on. But, uh, and then at night I turn them off. Uh, she's got her stick that she climbs on a lot. She only just started climbing on before she kind of just ignored it and now she uses she it likes to get it. to the top. Uh -huh. She's got a water bowl. Sometimes she bathes right herself there. in it. Yeah, that's really fun to watch. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. she's got her log which she stays in most of the time. Oh, I don't know. I think her head might be on the other side. We'll get her out. But these shavings I use and Abby use. We get it on Amazon and I clean Prickle's cage every Friday or Saturday. Abby cleans it Sundays, right? Yeah, so Sundays. Um, this is Prickle's cage. He has his food and water bowl. He has a rock. I think he dragged it under his little log with him. There is a wheel. There's a little 3D printed hedgehog back there that he likes to push around. He needs to sleep with it. Yeah, I, he had a toy car. I actually don't know where it went. It's gone. So we're gonna get them out. Oh, Prickle's right. has a personality. Let definitely, I don't know if Bagels has a personality. Bagels is shy. Yeah, Dad thinks it has a personality, but I just think it's a snake and doesn't have a personality. Prickles, he's mean, let's just say that. He doesn't like people. When we very first got him, he was timid and scared all the time. And then I think he just started hating me. That's okay, I hated him for a little bit too, but we're growing out of it and we're maturing. I had a towel that I used to like hold him because first of all, he doesn't like being just held. He likes to be like wrapped in stuff so he can burrow and hide. Also, I'm allergic to him. I break Abby's seen it and it's getting worse too, right? Like mm -hmm. it's been getting worse. Like I'll hold him and then my stomach breaks out and my arms get these like massive like bumps that are like this big and like on my stomach and it itches and I always sound allergic. And it's not the shavings, believe me. I've tried different shavings before. It's not. <laughs> it's actually the middle of the night for him right now. That's okay. He's a good sport. Not really. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he hasn't bitten me in a while. He used to bite me a lot. I bathe him every three weeks. He hates bass, despite all the cute hedgehog videos that people send me of like hedgehogs having fun in bass. They hate bass. Abby would know. <laughs> I've tried to give him bass where I like fill up the tub barely, so he's just walking. Um, he hates it. Oh my gosh, he stinks even though I just bathed him. So when I bathe him, 
I get a toothbrush wet with warm water and soap and I just scrub the heck out of it. He gets really dirty quite a bit. And the thing that scares me is that I feel like I'll never know if he's sick or not because they're so like defensive and always ornery that if something is wrong, I'm scared I'm not gonna be able to know until it's too late. So yeah. He always gets this dirt and stuff stuck in him. It looks like mold, but it, it's, it's poop. It's poop. He's filthy. He like walks in his, what the freak is wrong with his nail? His nails get long to dirt. Yeah, he won't let me trim his nails and I need to because they're getting bad. Maybe we should try that today. But overall, He's pretty good. He doesn't bite like he used to. They're supposed to live, I think, from three to five years. He'll be three mm -hmm. in January. And he's sniffing me. I'm scared he's gonna bite me. Please don't bite me. Oh my gosh, he's dirty. We're gonna have to bathe him again. Okay, we found the towel. So yeah, I don't know how to tell if a hedgehog is sick. I know they get wobbly hedgehog syndrome. I know he does not have it, Um, so that's good. But see, he seems alert and good. It's only been two weeks since I last bathed him, but looking at him, he's filthy. So we're gonna do that. We're not gonna film it because it's an all hands on deck thing. Like I said, we just take soap and water and a toothbrush and just scrub him. Abby bribes him with food, that's her job. She holds the tablespoon of food because he loves food and he'll be good to sit and eat while we bathe him. So that's Prickles for you. If you guys have any questions about him, please comment down below. My hands are already itching. I can feel it. And through my dress, it's itching too. Okay, time to put him away. No, I don't want to put him away because I'm just going to have to get him back out again. We should have done bagels first. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll try to hold Prickles while you get bagels. Abby's turn. Bagels is just good. She's shy, though. She doesn't like to... I mean, when I first got her, she would... My dad, dad told me to hold her a lot so she could get used to the humans. And she would scramble everywhere, and she was just hard to hold. Now she's gotten used to it, and she still moves around a lot, but she's as bad as she used to be. She's really good to just let people hold her. Like, you got her out for a family party. She's not bite. She doesn't bite, which is really good. Mm-hmm. So how often does she shed? She sheds once or twice some, wait. Like, Every once or two, one or two months. So she just shedded a month ago? Yeah. So she'll shed in another month, about. Maybe. And tell us how you take care of her. I just keep her water bowl full. I turn the light on day and night. I feed her on Sundays. I clean her cage on Sundays. She's just a good snake. She just does doesn't, whatever. She doesn't need too much looking after. Yeah. Honestly, it surprised me that you would want a snake because you're such like a reserved and quiet person. Snakes are quiet. I know, I was just going to say, I realize snakes are like that, but you know, they're <laughs> kind of like, I wouldn't expect it from you. Well, I mean, a lot of people think snakes are evil and they, they rub, and you're super scary because I mean, a lot of movies, snakes are the evil. Like Harry Potter. Like Harry Potter. Yeah, I think snakes are nice. Only, the only evil snakes are probably pythons and rattlesnakes. Or other poison snakes. Uh huh. So, what kind of snake is it? This is a king snake. And they're pretty rare, right? Well, that's, I don't remember where I heard that. Well, Dad said that this was the most beautiful and expensive snake in the patch. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, you know what? How long are they supposed to live? Do you know? 20 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> when we brought the snake home and mom found out it was 20 years, she was like, because, <sighs> like, we can't take him to college with this. We actually, they actually got her while I was in Seattle as a surprise. And, uh, La, for your they, birthday. Mom, mom, Chad was, they bought it secretly because they knew that mom wouldn't want a snake. And so Chad said, just go to the pet store. We have, we already have, or you just need to pick it up. And mom said, what did you, what did you order? Chad said, well, you'll see. <laughs> and she, she saw it was mice. And then, and then she finally figured out we got a snake. And she got so angry. But she likes but it But she now. likes him. Yeah, yeah, so when we go off to college and our, I mean, Prickle's, will probably still be alive for a bit longer. Bagels will definitely still be alive if she's still healthy. But dad has volunteered to take care of them. And also I think this little kids will help. Eve and Russell and Julie always talk about how they want pets. I know Eve wants like a bird or something. I don't think we would ever get a bird. I honestly think that once I go to college, I'll just have Julie and Eve take care of him. And then uh, once I move out and I graduate, I probably get a husband and I'm gonna have to take her back. Yeah, so if she's still alive, you'll still take her. Mm -hmm. But if I can't take her back, maybe I just can't, then I'll probably sell her, keep her, or maybe I'll give her to Julie 
Mm -hmm. But yeah, overall they're really good pets and they definitely have personalities and we're grateful for them. But this was just a little update for you guys because you don't see the pets in a lot of our videos and we get asked a lot um, how they're doing. So they're both healthy. I don't know about happy, but they're both <laughs> healthy. Um, <laughs> Pringles is a, I think Bagels is fine. Bagels is fine. Jeez. Pringles is a hedgehog. I don't know why hedgehogs are pets, not gonna lie. Because, well, because they can't kill anybody, they're cute, but. They're cute, but they don't like to be held or touched or bothered. They just kind of live there. Honestly, I feel like everybody has a pet. If an animal can't kill you or hurt you, then it's a pet. <laughs> She's got a point, guys. I do think we might get a puppy eventually. We just gotta take a little break. Uncle Joel said that even though your mom doesn't want a pet puppy after maybe a year or two, she'll realize that she needs a puppy. Yeah, I think everyone needs to have a pet at some point, especially a dog. I think dogs are good, especially for kids to teach them stuff. So do you guys have a pet or do you want a pet? Comment down below what it is, what its name is. Thank you guys for watching this video. I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna go try to trim his nails. I'm always scared to trim his nails because I don't want him to move and I'm scared I'm gonna like cut way too close up to the nail bed and then that would just not be good. So I honestly, I might try to like file them. <laughs> I think that might go easier. I don't know, but they're long and they're gross. So if you have any advice on how to groom a hedgehog without them freaking out, I really could use any advice. So please comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. 